The virus-induced gene silencing protocol begins with growing the A. Tumefacian strains, PTRV1, PTRV2, PTRV2-PDS, and PTRV2 target gene on LB plates. Two days later, these strains are inoculated in liquid LB and grown overnight. This culture is then used to inoculate a secondary induction media liquid culture, which is also grown overnight. The next day, a bacterial suspension of each culture is prepared and both PTRV1 and PTRV2, or PTRV2 target gene, are mixed in a one-to-one -one ratio. The bacterial mixture is then infiltrated into N. benthamiana or tomato seedlings using a needleless syringe. Hi, I'm André Velázquez from the laboratory of Greg Martin at the Department of Plant Pathology and Plant Microbiology at Cornell University. Today, we will show you how to do virus-induced gene silencing in tomato and Nicotiana benthamiana. We use this procedure in our lab to study the interactions between a plant pathogen and its host. So, let's get started. To begin this procedure, four Agrobacterium tumefacian strains, each harboring PTRV1, PTRV2, PTRV2-PDS, or PTRV2 host target gene plasmids are grown on LB agroplates supplemented with canamycin and rifampicin. Canamycin selects for the PTRV plasmid, while rifampicin selects for the agrobacterium. Incubate the plates at 30 degrees Celsius for two days. When the bacterial colonies have grown on the LB plates, use each of the strains to inoculate four two to three milliliter cultures of liquid LB containing canamycin and rifampicin. Incubate the cultures at 30 degrees Celsius with shaking at 200 RPM for 16 to 18 hours. On the following day, Inoculate a 1 to 25 dilution of each primary culture into 5 milliliters of a secondary liquid induction media culture with canamycin, rifampicin, and 200 micromolar acetosyringone. The IM mimics the environment that Agrobacterium encounters in the host apoplast, and the acetosyringone induces the bacterial virgenes, which are required for tDNA transfer into the plant. Incubate the cultures at 30 degrees Celsius with shaking at 200 RPM for 20 to 24 hours. The next day, harvest the cells by centrifugation for 10 minutes at 3000 Gs. After removing the supernatant, add 5 milliliters of 10 millimolar magnesium chloride, 10 millimolar MES pH 5.5 to the pellet and resuspend the cells by gentle vortexing. Centrifuge the cells again for 10 minutes at 3000 Gs. Then, resuspend the cells in half the volume of the original culture with the magnesium chloride MES solution. Prepare a bacterial suspension with an OD600 of 0.3 for each bacterial culture. Add acetosyringone to a final concentration of 400 micromolar to the PTRV1 culture. Mix the cultures containing the PTRV1 and the PTRV2 or the PTRV2 host target gene in a 1 to 1 ratio. Also include a PTRV2 PDS control. The final acetosyringone concentration is now 200 micromolar and each culture is at an OD600 of 0.15. The cultures are now ready to be used for viral infiltration of the Nicotiana benthamiana and tomato plants. N. benthamiana plants used for silencing should be around two and a half weeks old when the cotyledons and the first two to four true leaves have emerged. Tomato plants are used seven to eight days post-emergence when the true leaves have not yet appeared. Label the seedlings to be infiltrated with the gene to be silenced and the date of the experiment. For tomato, infiltrate both cotyledons, and for N. benthamiana, infiltrate the biggest two true leaves. Poke a hole into each leaf to be infiltrated with a needle. 
Use a one milliliter needle-less syringe to infiltrate the bacterial suspension into the seedlings. To avoid cross-contamination, change gloves between infiltrations and do not water the plants until the day after the inoculation. After infiltration, keep the plants at 20 to 22 degrees Celsius in a growth chamber with a 16-hour day length and 50% relative humidity for at least three and a half weeks before using them for assays. This is a representative result of an experiment with N. benthamiana and tomato plants three and a half weeks after being silenced for the phytoene desaturase gene. Both plants show the characteristic photobleaching phenotype observed in plants with diminished amounts of carotenoids. For PDS silenced control plants, photobleaching starts to be seen as soon as one and a half weeks after infiltration. We've just shown you how to do virus-induced gene silencing in Nicotiana benthamiana on tomato. In this procedure, it is important to remember to be careful to avoid cross-contamination and to keep the plants at the proper environmental conditions that favor virus spread and silencing. So that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiments.